Hey! We are on our way to Dark Side of the Con. Hosted by Jeff Mack and Vampire Freaks. And this is our first con of the year, so we're kind of looking forward to it. Yep, I'm selling in uh, the vendor area, I guess, um, some of my original art. So I'm really excited, and hopefully we'll get to meet some cool people, and hopefully I'll make some good sales. Keep our fingers crossed. But I'm going to get some Pokestops first, because, duh. We are here. We made it. We did. It's cool. I think I like to go. Let me take a take. I'll take you guys on a tour of the booth. Um, yeah. Take you on a tour of the booth. Yeah. Booth tour, booth tour, booth tour. Say hi, Karen. Hi. Booth tour, booth tour, booth tour. Yeah. These are all the dolls. Like, she did a really knockout job with them. Like, holy heckaroni. This is something that I am like. Look at all of them. Look at them all. Whoa! Whoa! There's so many. And then this is what it looks like behind the scenes. Ta -da! I made the mistake of bringing my Switch, so now Karen can play some sniffer clips. Yeah, and I just played the Kill Elise game. No. <laughs> See. I found friends. Say hi, friends. Yay! Hey. I mean, this is something that is happening at my table right now. Oh dear lord. I have to, I have to. I'm, I'm holding it. Snape and Loki is apparently Snoky, you guys. It's been like this all weekend. <laughs> it's day three. Yesterday was wild. This has probably been the con that I have had the most fun at. The, like the least stuff we can show. Yeah, there's a lot of indecent things. A lot. We're of not doing indecent. No, 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 not us. We're throwing blankets. Oh, like okay, you see this blanket? You see this blanket? This is the blanket that we yeah. threw over the mostly naked man to protect the children. So, <laughs> so I gotta say, joke, like, like I said, this is and it's it's totally kosher. We're having mm -hmm. so much fun. Everyone is super respectful and super nice. We've been offered a lot of like drinks out of stuff from people's pockets, and we haven't no, taken any. We don't drink, um, but that's okay. But if like, that's it, if that's your it's scene, not, it's nice to know that people are offering. Yeah. So I will probably do a little bit of a tour. Um, at least some point down the line. Amazing people that we've Yeah. Met. Some of our hallway friends over here. But see you guys in a bit. Yay! This is this end of the tables. Hey! Woo! Yay! Say hello. Hello. Wee. La la la. I don't even have my stabilizer with me, so it's shaky today. Sorry, everybody. Yay! <laughs> Woo! You around the corner. There was more people here yesterday, but that's okay. I don't want that's one hour to know what I carry in my trunk. <laughs> Big vendor's room. There's cool stuff in there. I don't like, I don't like people to know that I have a little bag. Well, I can wait in here. No, you're welcome. Garbage is... <laughs> There's literally all kinds of vendors here, and it's really neat. Home reading, jewelry, cool witchy things, all over the dang place. Oh, running into people's. Oops. And then we can go down this way. And there's more people here. There's the restaurant. This is the concert venue. I don't know what's going on in here. Oh, that's pretty cool. There's the Vampire Freaks booth. We'll go through this way. There's actually a boot shining place for all of your gothy boot shining needs, which is cool. And then the coolest part of this convention is something I've never seen anywhere else before. They actually have hotel room vending. 
So people will like rent out hotel rooms and vend from the rooms, which is something I've never seen before. It was really cool. So let's take another walk down here. Whee. There are also a lot of like 18 up vendors here, so they, you know, want to have some place where they can like put things away, things of that nature, things that people don't want to see. Traveling bards, always a pleasure. I love the bard, they're great. And then the other thing, like most of these vendors needed to be out by like 2.30, which is really rough. So most of these guys down here are closed off, which is, it happens unless you spend a little bit more for another day. So we travel down here. Okay, I love so your dress. You do Excuse me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we travel down to see everybody. <laughs> and voila. Here is the end. So, as you can see, very interesting, very unique kind of convention. Kind of small, not necessarily what I always expect but interesting nonetheless. Okay guys, we are just leaving, wrapping up for the day. Wow, this was an experience unlike any other I think we've just ever had before. The nicest, most wonderful people in the vendors alley row that we were in. Just, I'll drop a lot of links in the description. There'll be so many links in the description. We picked up so many business cards of just So many business cards, so, saw so many I like, I bought a ton of new stuff. Just and incredible people too, like people that like really like touched my heart and my life. Good people. Um, There's a cat over there. Where's a cat? Right you there. You have to show the cat. You can't just point. Oh, at the sorry. Cat. You guys can't see the cat. Well, you guys can't see the cat. But it was there. So I promise. Suck it. Um. Anyway, I know I didn't get a whole lot of footage, um, but I will be doing a little bit of a haul so you guys can oh. see what I have obtained. We're not gonna get that poker stuff, so I'm gonna. Oh, oh wait, I just got back on the Wi-Fi, okay. I think. Or <laughs> anyway. they connected me to the Hilton Wi-Fi. Anyway, or... I will see you guys shortly. Okay, so I legitimately could not get enough footage this weekend because we were having so much fun that I forgot to record half the time. Good job, me. <laughs> However... I did, as I usually do, go out and support many, many of our vendor friends. And we made some incredible friends this weekend, had some great times, and I want to share what I got with you guys. The first thing you might notice is my shirt. And let me stand up and show you guys. It is a long tunic with the phases of the moon on it. And this is by a company called Unre Designs, and she designs plus size, alternative, J fashion kind of things. And I love this. You know me. I love the moon. It's kind of my thing right now. Uh, so I had to have it. Um, and it's super comfortable. The pattern of the fabric is like constellation pattern. So it just adds to it. And it's a nice, super comfortable, stretchy. Um, it's a little big, which is fine by me. It's, uh, it's not sized, like, in the stores. It's sized based on measurements. And I just, I had to have it. It's so comfortable. I love it to death. Um, uh, so that was the first one. Next, one of our booth neighbors, uh, Jekyll High Jewelry, was able, and I'm not wearing it right now, but was able to actually customize one of their pieces for me which I adore, this is a necklace, but she customized it so that it doesn't nick my dermal. Because one of the problems that I have with necklaces these days is that they get caught on my dermal and I can't actually wear them. It really snags and it hurts because this is, you know, in my skin. But Willow did an amazing job and hopefully I'll get a, uh, shot of me wearing this or I'll wear it in a future video but I absolutely adore it and I don't usually wear a lot of jewelry or I don't usually wear a lot of gold jewelry at that but this was just so perfect I had to have it 
And but as always, the uh, the links will be in the description of the video to all of their web stores and web presences and stuff like that. Go out, follow them. They're wonderful. So the next one, Karen made good friends with the lovely people over at KNC Candy, and they make uh, artisanal caramels and chocolates. And she gave me this beautiful box of chocolates. Like, have you ever seen such a pretty sight? Like, I can't wait to try half of these. Um, the only thing that's kind of a bummer is that there's no label on it. Like, it doesn't tell me which one is which, but just, oh, it's so pretty. And she gave me one each of the vanilla and chocolate caramels. And let me tell you, these chocolate caramels taste like you're eating a brownie. They are amazing. If you guys can get your hands on some of their works, please do so. You will not regret it. Man, I don't even know what to eat first, so I'm gonna eat that later. Other table buddies of ours were the lovely team from The Pointed Hat. And I have actually, they gave us some incense. And I don't actually have an incense burner, but I'm gonna hang on to this because you never know when you're gonna need some lavender to take care of some of the things around here. Uh, they also have a really great t-shirt that they were out of in my size, but I will absolutely be looking into getting once it's back in stock online. So another one of our fun table friends was Britt Austin. She is an illustrator and designer and I bought two uh, small pieces from her and I just, I love her work. I'm gonna get these framed and hang them up in my living room or maybe put them in some of that empty space over there. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. Either way, gotta get a frame. Um, this one is a cool little like astronaut reaching for a space butterfly. And this one is a cool witch with a three-eyed fox familiar. One of the interesting things, and I mentioned it briefly in the, uh, the contour, is that a lot of vendors at JME events actually vend from their hotel room. So I guess they can like lock it up at night and make sure that, you know, if they have things that need to be very secure, don't be, aren't stolen. Um, this is the first time I'd ever seen anything like that. So that was pretty cool. But one of the vendors, um, Felix Eddy, they actually, they sell quilts and I guess they do like a tablet and, and e-reader covers and stuff like that that are quilted. But she also does watercolors. And I picked up this very sweet, uh, steampunk Raven and apparently this is an original this she hadn't made any prints of this one yet but I just I saw her and I just fell in love with her and she's got the heart on a string and again this one's gonna be framed and I haven't decided whether she's gonna be in the living room or if she's gonna be in the background here either way fabulous work much 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 appreciated the last thing I picked up over the weekend and this was this was hard because there was just so much stuff that I wanted um if I have any recommendations for future, for the future for this, more plus size vendors, but that's cause I'm me and I'm biased and I want to be able to go in and buy cool clothing. Uh, there were only a handful. So, you know, I'll throw my money where, where I can support. But anyway, the, uh, the last thing I picked up is actually a book. It's called uh, The Jack of Spades. She actually flew out from Oklahoma for the convention, which was really cool. And this is apparently the first book in a series of 13. The first two are available currently. Uh, and it's kind of like a, a steampunk mystery. I haven't started it yet, but it seems very interesting. And I will be linking her in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. Dark Side of the Con was literally unlike any convention I have ever been to in my entire life. I had the most fun at this convention just sitting around inventing and experiencing all of the, the bizarre and weirdnesses that happened around us. And I can't wait to do it again next year. The tickets are already on sale. One of the best con experiences I've ever had. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. If you liked what you saw, let me know down below, leave a comment, like the video. Maybe subscribe if you like what you see. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Later.